Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is now the fifth time I've tried to film this freaking intro and the first time my door was moving back and forth um, because the wind is blowing on it. Um, the second time my cat decided to come in and try to knock my coffee over. The third time I had a hair tickling my face so bad that I sneezed like five times. So hopefully this time is the winner and we can move on from that. So as you guys saw in the title, this video is another haul. This is honestly probably going to be my last haul for spring and summer though, because I have way, way too much wax. And I'm gonna be really focusing on burning through a lot of what I have because this is just outrageous. So anyway, we are going to dive right in. I have some Bath and Body Works as well as a couple of the brand new released homeworks, uh, like summer, spring, summer collection candles that I'm really excited about. So without further, um, Let's just dive right in. Okay, so I still have them both like literally in their box. I'm just gonna reach down and grab. I'm not gonna organize them or anything like that. Um, so let's start with Bath & Body Works because that's probably what you guys are actually here to see. And then we'll do the two brand new Homeworks um, candles afterwards. They're amazing, you guys, on cold. So I really recommend sticking around to the end. Yeah. So Bath & Body Works, first one here. It's in that like special Mother's Day packaging. I didn't realize that when I ordered it online. All of these came online, by the way. Um, but they have like the Mother's Day packaging. I really don't care. It doesn't bother me. Um, and actually this packaging is really pretty. And of course I am the best mom ever. So it doesn't matter if it's Mother's Day cause I can burn it all year round. So this one is in the scent pistachio ice cream. Um, the notes are roasted pistachio, frozen almond cream, and lush vanilla bean. And this really does smell like pistachio ice cream. It is a warm, very rich, very sweet, nutty pistachio creamy scent. It's glorious. The uh, performance of this is amazing. I love, love this candle. So multiples of those guys. Along the same lines, I think I picked up two of these, which again, in that last haul, I specifically said that I would pick up more and I did. Um, and I was really happy to see them come back. So this is in the scent Almond. Very, very, very similar to pistachio uh, ice cream. These are super, super, super similar to each other, meaning they are not exact dupes. They're just in the same family. So if you like one, you may like the other, but they are not the same. So with the pistachio ice cream, this one is definitely more of like that rich, decadent, creamy, bakery food type of almond cream. Whereas almond is almond. And it does say in there that it has uh, sweet almond blossom, vanilla orchid, sandalwood. Now, when I first hauled this, I had said that I didn't get that like floral in there, but now that I have both of these together and I'm comparing them, this one is a little bit floral compared to this one. It's not like, you know, a heady floral where it's a flower scent. It's definitely, you know, an almond type scent, but this one definitely is more on the floral note than this one. Either way, they're both really, really good. And if you like almond scents, like almond cream, you would probably love both of these. Okay, the next one I have here, I have never smelled before. I just picked it up on a whim. Um, you guys have heard me say a thousand times, I don't like floral scents typically. So you can bet that if you don't like florals, what I say that I like, you will probably like too. So I really like the smell of lily. It's one of the few flowers that I do enjoy the scent of. And I think it's just because they're not overly like punch you in the face. Um, and I saw this one and I had to pick it up and try it out and I'm really glad I did. So this, first of all, the packaging on this is perfection. Look at how absolutely stunning the packaging on this one is. I think that is so beautiful. Um, and the lids are really pretty on this collection too. So this one is in the scent Casablanca Lily and the notes on it are white Casablanca Lily, soft sea air and sheer hyacinth blooms. Hyacinth is another floral that I really enjoy the scent of. So obviously I figured I would like this and I really do. This to me does not smell like salty air. There is definitely some kind of ozone in there which freshens it up a little bit, but I primarily get the lily um, and a little bit of an undernote of the hyacinth. This is just a really beautiful, very clean, fresh kind of scent. It's not like a sweet, like peony flower. It's, it's definitely more of a very clean, like invigorating fresh scent. So I am totally, totally in love with this. And I feel like this would be actually a good summer floral. Okay, so although I got 12 candles total from Bath & Body Works, I only have four more unique scents. The rest of them are backups of what I've already showed you. So the next one I have here is a backup. You guys have seen this on my last haul. This is in the scent Watermelon Lemonade. You guys, I fell so hard for this when I got it that first time. This is perfection, perfection, perfection. I, 
I love this so much. This to me, honestly, I don't smell a lot of watermelon. Although the notes are literally just like watermelon and lemon, like that's it. <laughs> um, but this smells like the Simply brand of raspberry lemonade. This next one here is so hyped up right now in the candle community on YouTube. And I had to jump on the train because I love fruity bakery scents. And I'm definitely super happy I got it because this is amazing. I picked up three of these um, without even ever smelling them before based on friends on YouTube's uh, recommendations. And this is in the scent Strawberry Pound Cake. <sighs> This smells so good. This smells like strawberry ice cream. Um, I don't get a heck of a lot of the shortcake note, maybe a tiny bit. This almost smells like uh, like Ben and Jerry's strawberry cheesecake. That's pretty much what I'm getting from this and I am not upset about it. It's actually quite strong, which surprises me because Bath and Body Works tends to kind of go a little bit lighter on scents like this, like pound cake scents. This one's kicking me in the face on cold and I'm fine with it. So the notes say fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and a dollop of whipped cream. Yes, <laughs> this is delightful. I love this so much. This one is crisp green apple, and it has that same lid that the uh, floral one has as well. So the notes in here are tart green apple, juicy citrus, and sugar crystals. This is kick you in the nose, like sharp. In a good way, though. Um, a lot of apple scents tend to have more of a fall-leaning, uh, like vibe to them. They feel more like an orchard or like a candy apple. This is definitely a green apple. There is no way that they have this confused with any other type of apple. Is this authentic? No, it's candy. But it is not like fall leaning candy apple kind of candy. This is so tart, like hits you in the face, hits you in the nostrils kind of tart. It makes you kind of go, whoa, but I love that because it's different. It's not your typical candy apple, grandma's orchard, Macintosh. It's not like that. It's it's different. Um, this actually smells almost identical to the green apple Laffy Taffy's where it's got that real sharp kind of boom right in your face. It's like that, but I really like it. And it smells like it's going to be hella strong because I can literally open this over here and smell it. It's super strong. I'm really excited to actually try this out. Okay, so I totaled it up. I picked up three pistachio ice cream, two of the almond, and three of the uh, strawberry pound cake. This one from the new sweet shop collection, and this one is pineapple crumb cake. I really like the packaging on these. I think they're super cute, but this one says it is golden pineapple, rich pound cake, and sweet brown butter. This one to me almost isn't like a summery spring scent. This leans very fall to me. And I think it's because there is a hint of pineapple, but it's way down bottom. I am getting more of a spice to this. And I don't even see that there's spice in here. Maybe it's the brown butter, um, but I'm getting a very fall vibe from this, almost like the Homeworks uh, the partridge in a pear tree uh, candle that they had. It's like a spiced poached pear. That's what I'm getting from this. I really like it, but I actually will probably burn this in the fall instead of probably in the summer or use it as a transition from summer into fall. I think that would be a great thing too. But either way, I'm glad I got it because it does smell really nice. It's just not quite a spring summer candle to me. Okay, and the last two, well, technically there's four. I got two sets of these two. So I'm gonna show you two, but I have two of each. Make sense? All right. So as you guys know, I love Homeworks candles, you guys. Harry Slatkin has a nose like no other. He came out with three sets. One was floral, one was fruity, and one was gourmand. And obviously, come on, you guys should know by now which one I picked up. Um, but I picked up two sets of the gourmand. So the first one in the uh, gourmand duo is this one in the scent Vanilla Currant Biscotti. This one is the scent notes, red currants, almond cream, brown sugar, baked cookie. Do we see a trend here with the almond? stuff. I'm on an almond kick. Um, but this is a four wick candle. These are the new four wicks that he reformulated as far as the wicks go. Now you guys should know I'm Italian. I am very Italian, like almost 100% Italian. And I've had my fair share of biscottis. And I can tell you right now, I don't get a lot of biscotti, but, but that could also change on lighting it. Um, a lot of times with candles, you will get certain notes on cold sniff. And then when you light it and get that like heat going through it, they tend to, I'm trying to do the air quotes, but I have a plastic piece. So I'm like, <laughs> um, they tend to warm up the fragrance. And sometimes you'll get different notes that come forth upon burning that you don't smell 
you know, on cold. I'm not getting a biscotti in this. I'm getting some kind of bakery cookie, but I don't feel like it's a biscotti. Um, I definitely am getting the red currant. It's got a little bit of a tartness to it. It's definitely more of a fruity scent. I feel like this is a little bit leaning more deeper fruity than it is uh, gourmand bakery, but again, that could change. So I'm not gonna talk too much about this. I will do a full burn review on probably both of these candles and let you know how it is. So this is the other one in the duo and you guys look at the color of this jar. Is it not glorious? It's, it's beautiful. So the scent notes on this candle are limoncello, Sicilian lemons, candied lemons, sparkling sugar, creamy vanilla, French butter, and baked cupcake. That's a lot of scent notes. I get so many of these notes in here and it's funny because you read them and you think, oh, how could you ever tell, you know, the difference between a Sicilian lemon and a candied lemon or, you know, a limoncello and a candy lemon, but you, you do. It's, it's such an intense layering of fragrances in here that all work harmoniously. I can smell the limoncello. I can smell that sharpness of the Sicilian lemon. Not the stringency, not cleaner, but just the sharp tartness of a lemon. I can smell like that candied lemon peel and the vanilla and the butteriness. I mean, I when I first read the notes on this, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, come on, Harry, there's like 10 notes and it's just a lemon cupcake candle. No, the layering that Harry does in his fragrances is why I love homework so much. He takes it the extra step and makes it just perfect. He just knows fragrance. The man was born with a nose. Um, this is so delightful, you guys. Even if you're not a fan of lemony scents, I feel like this one is such an exception to the rule. I love this. I am so glad that they brought this back. Lemoncello Cupcake has been out in the past and they brought it back. So I'm really, really happy to finally have my hands on it and have a backup as well because I feel like this is gonna be such an amazing, amazing summer staple. So, so, so happy about this. That's it, you guys, that's my haul. So yay, rest in peace to my wallet because it is no longer allowed to come out when it has anything to do with candles or wax. <laughs> yeah, that's it, you guys, thank you so much. If you stuck around till the end, you are the real VIPs and I love you guys so much. You bring me so much joy and happiness and you are the reason I keep doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.